ketogenic diet has been developed to treat people with epilepsy at a time when anti-epileptic drugs were not available yet. It is based on the observation that people with epilepsy, if they were fasting or if they were being starved for a long period of time, would have fewer seizures. The idea is that when we starve, we don't have as much sugar in our blood. And when we get low on sugar, our liver releases ketones, which have been derived from fats previously. And when we eat fats, they get metabolized and ketones get stored in the liver four times of fasting. So if we don't have much sugar in our diet, but lots of fats in the diet, we will get more of these ketones and that is the same biology as when we are fasting. It's not used often in adults because adults are less willing to comply to the diet than children are because children, parents have more of a control what they eat but adults because it is, it's not the nicest of diets because it's so rich in fats but the studies that have been done in adults show the same effects as in children. Yes, there are side effects if it's been used for more than two years. So normally it gets restricted and discontinued after two years. But other side effects are also kidney stones, for instance, which also go down to the high fat levels. So the ketogenic diets, both also the MCT ketogenic diet, need to be monitored by a dietitian. So usually um, parents will work together closely with dietitians or with the existing charities to help calculate how their children would get the fats and how many fats they would get. Children's blood levels would have to be regularly assessed for ketones and for fulfilled fats. Mm -hmm.